In October 2019, Switzerland organized the first ever Sustainable Finance Week in Geneva, featuring a program made up of 30 events and culminating in a landmark summit. Representing Geneva's unique ecosystem, over 800 decision makers from finance, international organizations, NGOs, academia and politics were brought together to build bridges between finance and sustainable development. As far as I can remember, this is the first time so many decision makers and, all, and thought leaders with such varied backgrounds have been reunited in Geneva for one common purpose, to accelerate the transition towards sustainability. The UN estimates that at least an extra $2.5 trillion per year will be needed through 2030 to achieve the SDGs. Initiatives like this and the week and the Today's Summit are crucial because not only do they foster mutual understanding between our two very different worlds, but they also build trust that is fundamentally important for ongoing sustainable partnership. Given the rapid changes in technology and the impact on every aspect of our lives, the topic of digital and sustainable finance is timely. A lot of institutions are not on track for being fit to operate in a world where the SDGs have been implemented. Take carbon as just one. Voltaire, which once lived in Geneva, uh, while it was French, said, with great power comes great responsibility. And I think as an industry uh, which allocates capital, we have a great responsibility. We need to be net contributors. We need to repair the damage done. I mean, short-term profit maximization has destroyed the planet. Given the dynamic growth and booming demand for sustainable investments, we can observe that the transition from niche to mainstream is happening. We now have more evidence that sustainable investing does not necessarily have to harm performance. We are no longer in a two-dimensional risk-return framework, but moving towards a more holistic paradigm of risk, return and impact. It's now time for finance with true impact and such impactful finance has to become the norm. Your participation confirms that there is a fantastic opportunity in Geneva and in Switzerland to leverage the concentration of players, expertise and investment capacity in order to build bridges and deliver our full potential. Trois vocations pour Genève. La première, c'est d'être un révélateur. La deuxième, c'est d'être un régulateur. Et la troisième, c'est d'être un accélérateur. Change, of course, doesn't only happen because of investors, uh, but also because of, of staff, uh, because of uh, clients and other stakeholders. I would say the strongest pressure and the most positive one is the one which comes from consumers, even before shareholders, that sustainability was good business. Today uh, and uh, all along this week, uh, we've laid the first foundation stone uh, of the partnership towards 2030. We are at the start of a unique collaboration that can show that profit with a purpose really exists. Le monde, notre monde, doit impérativement changer. La finance a un rôle clé à jouer. Ne gâchons pas l'opportunité historique qui nous est offerte. Let me finish saying that the, the purpose of today is to define first a shared level of ambition for Switzerland, second a collaborative mindset to maximize our impact and a concrete action plan. Unless we can integrate it in mainstream financial markets, nothing matters. Because we need to mobilize capital flows towards the solutions to get them to scale fast enough. This is going to be a black and white deal. Either you lead, either you lead, or all of us will fail.